Right there is my excited German Shepherd Lobo. I'm here with the uh, honey badger. It's a frosty morning. We're uh, on a hike at the uh, off leash park. Come along. That's what uh, Lobo sounds like when he's excited. <laughs> he's like, come on, Dad, let's go. See, honey badger is huge. She's getting close to Lobo's size. She's still four months old. Good girl. She'll turn uh, five months old on the uh, 17th of January. Come on. Good girl. Beautiful love. One. Come on, badge. Come on. Good girl. Girl. See, badge is getting big. Got a nice thick heavy winter coat too. I think her feet might be bigger than Lobos. <laughs> Girl. She a beauty. The beautiful Tammy couldn't be with us today. She's working, unfortunately. So I thought I'd film one of my hikes uh, with the dogs without her. I do these daily, but uh, I typically don't film them. I do multiple hikes a day with uh, different groups of dogs. The 
boys. Good girl. Good girl. See, she uh, responds well to the clicks. Uh, you can kind of see the transition I used from when I started with uh, introducing those clicks for recall when they were about four weeks old. Uh, we were introducing raw food to them and how it's progressed to this. Lobo, stick around. How you guys doing? Oh, enjoying the day. It's beautiful. Come on, Badge. Come on. Come on, Badge. Come on. Good girl. Now you see in those situations, we just keep moving when she runs into dogs like that. We don't call, uh, we don't uh, go to her and get her at all. We teach her the pack keeps moving. Come on. Good girl. Hey, how you doing today? Come on, bitch. Yeah, she's growing fast. <laughs> We've run into them on a couple of the other off-leash hikes when I've had Badge with me. Again, as I was saying, you know, when we run into recall situations like that, we keep moving. That stimulates her to want to follow. You know, worst thing you can do is chase after your dog in those situations. You know, if you act excited, crouch down, back up, uh, these are all things that can stimulate the dog to come into you when you're working with a puppy uh, doing recall. But you know, don't take my word for it. I'm uh, just some guy in YouTube. I'm uh, just showing you as I uh, train my puppy to act like my adult dogs, the method I use. It's uh, up to you to decide if it has any merit or not. There are lots of ways to train dogs. This is just what I found uh, works for me and uh, my personality type. Uh, you know, a lot of training comes down to what works with your personality too. You know, it's just like a teacher teaching students. You know, some teachers are better using some methods than others. Some students are better uh, uh, learning from some methods than others. You know, when I'm training my bulldogs, I'm a little different than uh, when training my shepherds, just because they have different temperaments. You know, bulldog's a little harder, more stubborn dog. That was a beautiful shot of her leg out in the, the river behind her. You're gonna be a good thumbnail. Hey. Down. Come on, bitch. 
Good girl. Look at her go. Well, right here's the uh, mighty Mississippi. It's a good spot to teach her about ice. The water's shallow there, so she slides off or breaks through. She's, all she's gonna do is get wet. Up there, those buildings up there you see are the uh, historic part of Fort Snelling. A lot of uh, bloodshed, bloodshed in this uh, area historically. Again, uh, just down river is Pike Island, which uh, during the Dakota Indian Wars was used as a uh, prison island. They kept, uh, you know, my numbers might be off, but uh, I believe somewhere around uh, 1,200 uh, women, children, and uh, elderly on the island after the Dakota Indian Wars. And uh, during a particularly harsh winter, like 800 of them or so uh, died of cholera, exposure, and uh, starvation. Uh, you know, it's pretty tragic. This being Minnesota, you know, you can imagine we get uh, some uh, very harsh winters here. I wouldn't want to be stuck on some prison island uh, on the Mississippi River at that time of year. With that said, there's a lot of energy in the valley here. I've been coming down here since I was a kid. Uh, you know, especially at night, the energy is down here different in the day. I've seen all kinds of paranormal activity up and down the river valley, but especially uh, down towards Pike Island and even the dog park area here. I come down here a lot at night and walk with the dogs. Uh, I have some videos of that on the channel. What kind of paranormal activity do we see when we're down here, you ask? Well, I'll answer. Uh, typically see balls of light moving through the trees. Uh, You'll hear uh, voices laughing, crying, screaming, talking. Uh, just uh, in the tr in the wood line, you'll hear uh, sounds of something big going through the woods uh, when nothing's there. Again, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Again, uh, I don't I don't feel threatened at all by it. There's there's not like a menacing presence, but uh, I do believe in that stuff. I've uh, experienced too many things in my life not to. Yeah, it's just beautiful today. What's up, Badge? Hey, good girl. like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. We hit uh, 196,000 today. Wow, thanks. I appreciate it. We've got uh, over 1,900 plus videos here covering a variety of topics involving my dogs. Welcome, look around. Also have uh, links to my Teespring store if you're looking to support the channel. We've got all kinds of cool merch. Uh, You'll find links to it down below. My boat. Good girl, Badge. big uh, pileated woodpecker in the background uh, thumping away at a tree. That sound uh, 
Oh, it uh, reminds me of the military. It's uh, kind of the same cadence as an M60 machine gun. Come on, Badge, you can do it. Come on. You hear the woodpecker? Come on. You know, if I see her acting like that, I'll just start walking away. And that's gonna stimulate her to wanna follow. That's gonna push her to do something that she wouldn't normally do. Come on. Because again, she didn't wanna be left behind. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. What a good girl. <laughs> yes, you are. You're such a good girl. Again, you want to use a little bit of that separation anxiety to uh, spur her over those obstacles. That's one of the reasons why it's Good to work with your pups as young as possible when uh, teaching them off leash. At least that's my opinion. Uh, I say that because uh, they have a much stronger urge to follow and they're not quite as independent. And so they uh, want to stick with you and comply more when they're young. You know, if you wait until the dog's, you know, nine, ten months, a year old, you know, you got them then when they're kind of like a teenager and they're a little more independent and stubborn and they're not as compliant. That's why it's good to start young and to imprint these behaviors in them so when they get at that age and you don't have an issue. Again, at least that's been my experience. I'm just some guy on YouTube. Uh, I do have over 30 years experience working with dogs. Uh, an animal warden for two decades, but uh, you know, again, uh, take what I say with a grain of salt. There are a lot of other trainers who might disagree with me. That's okay. Come on, Badge. Got a leader over here. Come here. Come here. Easier way for her to get up. Good girl. You know, by not uh, coddling the dog and going back and getting them and helping them over obstacles and stuff like that, kind of like a kid, it uh, gives them confidence and teaches them to be more self assured. I mean, these are dogs, they're not uh, children. You know, they, uh, too many people uh, seem to forget the difference uh, when they're working with a puppy sometimes and coddle it a little bit too much. Again, that's just been my observation. I often laugh when people say, you know, how are you taking puppies this young? Uh, mile long hikes aren't you worried about their bones and joints uh, no I'm not I've done this for 30 years if you've got a dog that can't handle walking at a leisurely pace as a puppy uh, you got a defective pup you know a lot of modern skeletal issues aren't caused from uh, walking and exercising the dog too young they're they're caused by commercial dog foods and uh, that's one of the reasons why i'm such a strong advocate of the barf diet and not just the barf diet just raw feeding in general you know whether you use the prey model uh barf uh, rmb any of them are leaps and bounds better than feeding that uh, overly processed uh, commercial garbage Come on. Come on, Badge. Girl.
I'm walking on a swollen knee this morning. I'm not quite sure what the heck I did to it. But, uh, gotta live hard to be hard. As I recently heard, uh, motion is lotion. The yeah, worst thing you can do if you get a knee injury or something else is to uh, not use it. I mean, uh, barring any serious tears or anything, of course. I'm talking about when you tweak it. Come on. Good girl. Oh, it's beautiful when it's like this. The uh, water is uh, frozen a nice kind of a green layer of ice that doesn't have any snow on top of it. It's very pretty. I don't know if my phone's going to, or my GoPro's going to pick it up. Come on. Ooh, slippery. This is why I wear ice chains on my boots. There you are, bitch. Lobo, stick around. Stick her up. Lobo, stick around. There's a dog up over there. He's watching. Hey guys, come on. Come on, Bo. Good boy. Well, I miss having the beautiful Tammy here for conversation, but uh, I'm enjoying the walk all the time. Uh, how can you? Not enjoy being out here with a couple of your buddies. Girl badge. For those who will ask, uh, badge is just over uh, 50 pounds at four and a half months old. She's pretty big for a female. Huge for a female, actually.
forgive any heavy breathing. Uh, it's a workout going up those stairs. We're uh, walking uphill right now, steadily uh, working our way out of the valley, up onto the ridge line. Bo, stick around. Lobo. Lobo. He's up here chasing squirrels. Good boy. Stick around. Hey, I said stick around. Stick around's a command that says uh, stay in my area where I can see you. It's uh, not a heel. Just means stay in my vicinity. Bo. Good boy. Bo. Good boy. Some of that uh, background noise you're hearing is from uh, the Port Snelling military base. Aircraft there. Been a lot of uh, C-130s flying out of there the last few days. Something's going on military-wise. I won't speculate what that is here. See, that's the C-130s on the base. It sounds like they have several of them getting ready to take off. I'm a former paratrooper, so whenever I uh, hear a C-130, I can just feel that vibration in my chest. I uh, have plenty of parachute jumps out of them. Bo! Stick around. Good boy. It's weird how those experiences uh, 30 years ago still just hearing that sound has an effect on me. Gets the adrenaline going. I uh, have the hair standing up on the back of my neck now. Hey, come here. Girl. Stick around. Ooh, I can smell a skunk. There's a skunk in the area. Lobo, stick around. I don't need you finding that thing. Boy, good girl.
Man, they got a lot of planes right now. I don't know if my phone's picking it up or my camera's picking it up, but there are a lot of planes on the runway right now at the military base. Hear them all idling. Somebody lost a glove here. Well, that's a pair of shooting shooting mittens. I got a pair of those at home. Hey, come here. Well, I think we're gonna call it an end here. Global, come here. Bye from Mr. Lobo. Come here, badge. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. You'll get uh, email notifications when our new videos come out. Check out our Teespring store. Got all kinds of cool merch, sweatshirts, t-shirts, and stuff. Uh, several uh, different designs. Uh, check them out. It's a good way to support the channel and get something cool in return. If you watch my videos and you enjoy them, so sweetie if you watch my videos and you enjoy them and you're not subscribed I ask you take a few minutes to subscribe it doesn't take a lot of effort on your part uh, but it does really help the channel as far as algorithms grow uh, so does a uh, thumbs up and a comment again thanks a lot hope you enjoyed it bye thanks for watching check out our merch store down below <laughs>